Hi everyone, welcome to the Spellbound Miniature Fire Surround tutorial. If you've been watching the Roombox series, you'll have seen this Fire Surround magically appear. And we also made the Overmantle Mirror to coordinate with it. Both the Fire Surround and Mirror are made from craft board and mat board using the Cricut Maker Machine. Here are the pieces cut out of matte board. We've designed this fire surround to match in with the chimney breast and hearth file that we also have produced. That file comes with a deeper hearth and you can use a straightforward mantelpiece. I've made that one out of an egg box. But if you don't want to use an inset hearth, this file comes with a straight backed hearth so you can mount this fire surround straight up to any wall and you don't necessarily need a chimney breast. This is an insert and this is a fire surround and if you want to have a log effect or coal effect open fire you can use the insert. I like to leave mine open because I put my stoves in there. First thing we're going to do is glue the two largest pieces together, they make the hearth. The next two pieces make the mantelpiece and these four pieces make the sides of either side of the fire surround and in doing so they give us a top which we can glue the mantelpiece onto. So we just glue one edge of these side pieces and stick them down on to the actual fire surround, trying to get them at right angles. I'm using my magnetic gluing jig here because I find it easier to hold the pieces in place while they dry. You want to line the edge of the side piece up to the edge of the fire surround and ideally have it as flush as possible and make sure the top and bottom are also level. So I use my magnets and a steel bench block to help keep the sides perpendicular and then I work my way across gluing on the other three sides using the magnets to straighten out any bowing that occurs and keep them as upright as possible while they dry. Next we take the two mantelpiece pieces of matte board and we're going to glue those together. I like to dry fit them and change sides to make sure that they match up as neatly as possible. You do sometimes get a lip from the blade in the maker machine. You can smooth that down or line them both up on the same side as each other. And then once you're happy you've got the best fit glue one side and attach the other. I then take this to one side and put it under my big granite slab to press it flat whilst it dries. And we do the same with the two hearth pieces. And again, I put that to one side and press it while it dries. Now the fire surround and side pieces have dried, I'll take the magnets off. And if you want to use the fire insert, you glue this on now. If not, bypass this step. We put a bead of glue along each of the four uprights.
and then attach the insert making sure it's nice and square to the edges of the fire surround. If one of the sides is a little off center or out of square, you can usually just tweak them. Then press it down more when you're happy that it is square and make sure it's level at the top and the bottom. Wipe off any excess glue from the joins. and then press it while it dries. Once it's dry, we can glue it onto the hearth, which is the bigger of the two pieces. And the mantelpiece goes on top. It doesn't matter which one you glue on, I like to do the mantelpiece first because it's lighter so it's not so top heavy. So then, to make sure that the back stays flat, we put them onto the workbench line up the mantelpiece centrally to the fire surround and push them both down onto the workbench so that it would be nice and flush with the wall or the chimney breast. Check that you're happy with the centralisation and wipe off any excess glue. I like to balance weights on mine, really make sure that there's no gaps in the joins. And then when you're happy that that's gone off, we do the same thing at the other end and glue it onto the hearth. Again, making sure that the backs are flat on the workbench and that the hearth is central to the fire surround. And let that dry. Now the craft board layer is 16 squares or rectangles of varying sizes. There are in fact four different sizes, so that's four lots of each size. I like to find the biggest ones first and then create a row of those, then find the next biggest or the next smallest, and so on until I have got four rows of different sizes. Then we simply take the smallest, put it onto the next largest, the next largest and the next largest and we should end up with a square of gradiating other squares. Kind of a layered effect and these will make up the corbels that support the mantelpiece and go down onto the hearth. So I find it much easier to keep these corbel pieces sort of in that 4x4 four four grid. I glue the smallest one first onto the next largest, press them together and then glue the next largest onto the next largest and so on. And 
hopefully you can see here that we've got sort of gradient at the top and then the sides and the bottom are flat so they fit flush up to the mantelpiece and down onto the hearth. They really help give this fire surround some dimension. You could leave them off if you wanted to. So I press that one and carry on gluing all the others together. Once they're dried, we're going to glue them into the four corners of the surround. We put the flat edge up under the mantelpiece with the gradient pointing down and then the flat edge on the bottom on the hearth with the gradient pointing up. So there we have the finished fire surround. You can paint it whatever colour you like. I did this one in all black and mine here is standing on the inset hearth. If you'd like to make the chimney breast hearth and chimney stack I'll put a link to that video and also to the overmantel mirror. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you don't already subscribe click subscribe and the notifications bell. If you'd like this file, it's in our Etsy shop, Spellbound Miniatures. It's also included free in this month's membership subscription. The links are in the description below. Take care and we'll see you soon.